The competitors of the i30 Fastback N are for example the Audi S3 and the Mercedes AMG CLA 45. But both are significantly more expensive than the Hyundai. The Audi S3 starts at around 46,000 euros and for a Mercedes CLA 45 AMG around 58,000 euros have to be paid. But both the Audi and the Mercedes are offering all-wheel drive and a 7-speed automatic gearbox as standard. At the sprint from 0 to 100 km per hour, the 381 horsepower of the Mercedes and the 300 horsepower of the Audi are noticeable. So the CLA 45 manages the sprint in only 4.2 seconds. The S3 sedan needs 0.5 seconds more. The top speed of 250 km per hour of both models matches the level of the Hyundai. The i30 Fastback N offers 450 liters of boot capacity with the rear seats up. Folding down the seats, this increases up to 1,351 liters, which means it offers about 50 liters more than the hatchback in both ways. On top, there is an extra bar available for the performance version. On one hand, it will increase the stiffness of the car a little, but on the other hand, it is an unneeded obstacle in your boot when the seats are down. In comparison, the Audi S3 sedan offers 390 liters of luggage space. The Mercedes CLA 470 liters with upright back seats. Hyundai i30 Fastback N. And what I really like with the car, it really delivers pure driving pleasure. And then there is the exterior design, especially the tail of the beauty. I really like that a lot. And what I really do appreciate is the variety of different drive modes because you really can set up the car the way you want. But on the other hand, if you're looking for a very comfortable car, you should better have a first test drive with that one because even if you drive it in standard mode, it is already quite stiff. And then for me, one downside is that the interior you find a lot of plastic. I don't like that very much, but on the other hand, that's very important when we, call, when we talk about the price, because the standard version of the i30 Fastback and starts at 31,100 euros here in Germany, and the performance version only costs 33,600 euros, and it comes very well equipped. And even our test car here, which got every extra on board except the sunroof, will cost a lot less than 40,000 euros.